Hi, I'm John Harold from Zytron. In this short video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the use of interlocking screens and screen printing applications and how you can use the Zytron Navigator screen printing workflow to achieve the best results. With some screen printing jobs, there may be times when it's important that no substrate or background color shows through on the completed job. With standard halftone creation, this might be difficult to achieve without laborious manual manipulation. Let's take a look at an example. Here's a PDF that we're viewing in Acrobat. If we zoom in on the artwork, we can see that there is a pretty smooth transition between the yellow Pantone 113 and the red Pantone 185. If we run this job through the workflow with standard settings, the results look like this. You can see how the blend is created, moving from red to yellow. This is perfectly normal. However, if this job is to be printed on a blue t-shirt, these white areas between the halftone dots will show through. What we can do to mitigate this effect is something called interlocking screens, and we can set up the Navigator workflow to help us with this. We'll create two workflows that are identical except for two settings. We'll call the first one Screen Printing Interlock, and the second one Screen Printing Interlock Inverted. We'll also place a copy step into the first workflow that will route any incoming jobs into the second one automatically. The other change we'll make is in the separation setup. In the first workflow, we'll use our standard setup. In the second workflow, we'll tell Navigator to invert the screens. Now, let's drop our job into the first workflow. The job is processed using the standard settings, and at the same time, it is copied into the inverted workflow and processed there. Notice how fast Navigator is. If we look at the two results, we'll see the differences in the processing. In the first, we see the red dots surrounded by yellow outlines with the white areas being substrate. In the second, we see the yellow outlines surrounding the white substrate instead of red dots. What we want to do now is combine the standard screens with one of the inverted screens. We do that by releasing selected screens from each job. In this case, we're using the inverted screen for the PMS 185 red. Now let's look at our results. The screens are totally interlocked. No substrate is showing through as one color completely encapsulates the other. You have total control over which screen interlocks just by choosing the screens you want released. Thanks for watching. 